Welcome back everybody to some more Minecraft. So we're resuming where we last left off in the abandoned mines. We're running out of food shortly, but we still got a little bit left to kind of explore this area. Let's go up here, see what we got going on here. There was a ravine nearby that I wanted to explore. I just don't know exactly where that was. We got two skeletons fighting it out right here. It's about to go down some skeletons. Oh, we got three skeletons. Ooh, that one skeleton just killed the other one. It's a two skeleton combo. Ooh, man, this is a really big cave system. Got a creeper over there. Shit, I should probably go back to the base because I'm running out of resources fast. I got a spider and a zombie about to come up. We are running out of food. I only got one cooked pork chop remaining and some melons. Alright. Let's go back up to the surface. Managed to get some decent loot from that. I don't want to end up dying down here. But at the same time, we still got so much left to explore. So, let's mine our way back up to the surface. We'll get some fresh air once we get up. We got a bunch of iron over here still. So one thing uh, I also want to do once we get back to the base is I want to grab all the rotten flesh. And I want to trade it with one of the villagers back at the village in the desert biome. So we could... Get him to level 2 and then we could buy some ender pearls off of him. Because right now that's the only, that's the, probably the fastest way that we're going to make our way to the end. If not, we're going to have to keep playing and killing some endermen. Oh, I think it's raining. We're getting close to the surface though. I can hear the grass breaking. I hear a sheep. I think this is it right here. Let's light this up. Oh, it is raining. It is raining and it is in the middle of nighttime. Alright, so I think our house is this way. If I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I got this general bearing of where we're going correct. I think our house is right over there somewhere. Alright, this is the swamp biome. The sun comes up from that direction. I think our house is right over there. Ooh, yes, I'm right. All right, I got the general bearing correct. Got the horses still in the field roaming. This is pretty sick. Pretty sick view. Oh, that's a skeleton with chain armor. Alright, so since it's turning daytime, it's a perfect opportunity to go to the village and trade our shit off. We still got a bunch of wheat that we still need to trade. I think I put it in the chest in the house. Also, let's close this. We don't want anything to come inside our house and blow it up. We got some valuables. Alright. Put the coal in the chest. Put the iron. We have a bunch of iron uh we'll put the gold there put the seeds in here uh put the redstone away put the iron ingot away i think we got that from a zombie put everything else in here got the food uh we got wood the rails away let's put the ender pearls so we got six ender pearls it's not bad it could be better all right let's grab the rotten flesh let's also grab the ender uh the emeralds so we could trade those away and 
We got a little bit of wheat remaining. Fifty and sixty-four. All right. Let's get rid of this. All right. So let's take the horse to the village so it's a little faster. What did I name the horse again? Roger. Roger the horse. We're gonna have to go out this way. There we go. Oh, he's still. He's still latched. <laughs> All right, hold up. I'm gonna have to unlatch him. Did I get the? Did I get the lead back? Oh, there it is by the horse. All right, we're gonna have to send him through the portal. Hopefully, he doesn't end up dying from this shit. I know it's really, really glitchy, but it's. I don't understand why we can't just go through the portal with the horse be so much easier go 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 oh my god it took it took a bunch of health away it's a fucking bitch we're gonna have to feed it apples too unless I could just uh, I don't even know it's way faster to take the horse through but literally if he ends up losing all that health from that shit He's going to end up dying eventually. One day we're not going to be able to save him. We're going to lose this horse. After all that work that we spent on getting him. Ooh, I do not want to fall off. Ooh, that would have been so bad. Alright. Let's cover this up. It's also... Mine these blocks away. Oh my god, this mine so fast. Alright, where's the horse? Yo, Roger, get over here. Alright, let's send him through. Hopefully he's safe on the other side. Alright. Let's make our way to the village. I might just keep the horse at the village. I'll get up there. Yeah, we're so far from where the house is. We're like 2,000 blocks away. The house is at negative 200, I believe. We got some pigs over here. Let me slaughter them for some more food. Got some sheep. Could probably kill them for some food. Some cooked mutton. It's like a one hit kill with the sheep. But every other monster is just three, four hits. Oh, what is that over there? Is that another village? Oh, shit. We have two villages right next to each other. I did not even notice that until now. All right, we'll check it out. All right, let me tie him up somewhere. Uh, is there? There's no like no way for me to even tie him up. All right, who who trades the rotten flesh? This is the farmer. We almost got him. We have him level two, I believe. Oh, pumpkin for emeralds. Six pumpkins? That's not a bad trade. We could do a huge. Oh, where did my horse go? We could do a huge uh, pumpkin farm back at the base. Alright, he's slowly regenerating, which is good. Yeah, I just tie him on the. <laughs> lead and drag him along. Oh, I think that's the... I think this is the villager over here that we need. This dude. 26 emeralds from that. Oh, he's so close to leveling up. Yo, if I buy some redstone, does he level up? No? 
Ah, he's so close. We need a little bit more Rotten Flesh, and then we could get him unlocked to level 2. And then I'm pretty sure... Or is he leveling up right now? Oh, he leveled up. Gold for Emerald. That's a pretty shitty trade. Alright, I could have... Maybe he needs to be level 3 to get the Ender Pearls. Let me look this up on the wiki really quick. Alright, so I looked on the wiki. So, this guy does sell Ender Pearls, but we need to get him unlocked to experts. So, we have Novice, Apprentice, Journeyman, Expert, and then Master. So, I think it's five Ender Pearls for... It's five emeralds for one ender pearl, which isn't a bad trade. But we're just going to have to... We're definitely going to have to save up. We're going to have to make some other trades with some villagers. So, let's check out the other village nearby in this direction. We got some pretty good trades going on so far, but... We still got to make some more trades to get even close to that. So, it's nice to know that he trades Rotten Flesh for Emeralds. And Gold for Emeralds too. But I just don't want to trade off all my Gold. We have a Villager who also trades Apples for... Or, it's uh, Emeralds for Apples. Oh, we got some Cows over here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They got a bunch of villagers going on over here. What is this? What is this block? I've never seen this before. The fuck? <laughs> They're all having a party. What is this block? White glazed terracotta? The hell is that? Yo, I'm gonna have to kill these cows. I wonder if there's a villager who trades food, like emeralds for food. Oh, there's a pyramid over there. Oh, shit. Yo, let me explore that. We might be able to get something good. Like a treasure map or something. This is the first pyramid in this world ever. Also, how far are we? Uh, we're going farther from the house. Ooh. Let me get him leaded on. Get over here, Roger. It's turning nighttime. We don't got time to fuck around. Do I have wood? Yes, I do. Alright. I need to make... I need to make a fence to put him down. How do we make a regular fence? Uh, it's turning night time. We don't got time for this. Fuck. I think it's... Uh... Uh... Is it like that? Yes. There we go. Alright. Let's explore this. Let's check it out. Alright. Gotta be very careful not to fall through. Get rid of the pressure plate. Alright, what do we got? First chest, garbage. We'll take the gunpowder. Second chest, emerald, decent. Fire protection, three. Okay, that's pretty decent. Protection, oh hell yeah. 
Protection 5. I'll take that shit. I'll take the bones. And last chest. Some garbage. We got another saddle. We can get another horse eventually. Alright, that's pretty decent. The enchantments are what made it valuable. Let's get rid of all this. Take all the TNT. Alright, let's go back up. Oh, it sounds like we got a skeleton nearby. Alright, that was definitely worth it. So we got efficiency 2, fire protection 3, protection 5. So we could... I'm going to add that to our armor. What the fuck's going on with my horse? Or what is that, a witch? Who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? Oh shit. We got a traitor nearby. Yo, fuck off. Oh, you fucking bitch. Alright. Let's take the lead off. We're fucking bailing out of this bitch. We're bouncing. We're bouncing out of here. Alright, let's go back through the portal. So, according to the wiki, I believe we gotta do 16 trades with the villager to get him to level expert. Oh, we got an enderman over there. Ooh, should I risk it? What should I end up doing? I wonder what's easier to... Is that another village? Or no, that's the one that's... That's the first village. This is the second one. I wonder what's easier to unlock the... The villager expert or just to kill a bunch of uh, endermen to get the ender pearls. Because we need a bunch of ender pearls to even find the portal. And we also need ender pearls to unlock the portal. Plus we need ender pearls in the end so we don't end up falling off and shit like that. So I think it's easier just to unlock the trader. And we're going to have to just trade him a bunch of... Well, I do have... I do have uh, some zombie spawners near the base. I have two of them. So we could probably turn one of them into a XP farm. And then we could just grind for the... Rotten flesh. Alright, let's push him through. Hopefully he doesn't end up dying. Where's the lead? Oh, there it is. Get over here. Alright, let's take him back. We'll take him back to the base. Get him tied up and his health is regenerating, so we should be good to send him through the portal. So a crazy ass adventure this was. Managed to get a bunch of decent loot from that pyramid, which was phenomenally worth it. Protection five, that's fucking decent as shit. I'm gonna add that to the chest piece right away once we get back to the house. Hopefully we got enough XP for this. All right, horsey. All right, Roger, send you through. We're level 25. Oh my God, what are you dying from? What are you dying from? Fucking lost more health. What the hell? There's one villager. I wonder where the other one is. Hopefully he didn't end up dying from the fire. I don't know why they're crowding around there. Okay, there's one villager. Where the fuck is the other one? Is he in the bed? Uh, Did he die? He might have died. 
<laughs> Fuck, it's not even worth getting them. Like, I thought, I thought it was gonna be at least worth it, you know, breeding the villagers and shit like that, but for some odd reason, they're just fucking, they're just jumping around doing shit. Alright, let's deposit all this stuff. Everything that we don't need. I don't know what I'm gonna end up doing with these blocks, but I collected it regardless. Uh, this episode's so crazy. Alright. How much is it to add this? I think I'm gonna... Mm, I think I'm gonna have to make another armor set just to add that on. I think that's how you do it. Alright, so let's just save these books. We'll save the books for a rainy day. We got a bunch of emeralds. 28. 6 diamond. 21 iron block. Uh, yeah, iron blocks. Alright, deposit the TNT in there. Deposit that. Deposit that. Keep this. Deposit the horse armor. Alright. I'm gonna cut it here. If you enjoyed, a rating is always appreciated. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.